Some people just enjoy being loved by multiple people. Some people enjoy threesomes or just enjoy having sex with more than one person. If it's not your relationship, it's not your business. Hey everyone, it's Jen back with another video. On this channel, I like to talk about literally anything and everything that I feel like talking about. A lot of the time I focus on things that are very taboo or things that I feel like should be talked about more but are not talked about enough. And that is exactly what I'm gonna do in this video. As you said by the title of this video, I'm gonna be talking about open relationships. I'm gonna be talking about polyamory, swinging, and just the regular basic basic open relationships that people can have. Polyamory is when you're in a relationship but you bring in another partner and it's completely consensual and it's sexually based but also emotionally based. Basically it's like a three-way relationship which is called a thruple. However you can have multiple partners and have four people in the same relationship or five people in the same relationship. It all depends on how far you want to go. There's a show called Red Table Talk. It has Willow Smith, her mom Jada Smith, and Willow's grandma. With this show they talk about different topics. Each episode is a different topic and they bring in guests as well. They had an episode about polyamory. To more accurately describe what polyamory is, I'm gonna add a clip from that episode to tell you guys in a little bit more detail. Okay, let me break it down. Polyamory is an honest romantic relationship with multiple people at the same time. No secrets or lies. A thruple is a type of polyamorous relationship. Three people having a consensual romance. Polyamory is not polygamy. That's when a man has multiple wives. And it's not swinging, where couples have casual sex. The polyamory community is diverse. All ages, genders, religions, and backgrounds. If you're interested in this episode, I'll definitely link it down below. I think it's a really good episode to watch, and it definitely gives you a better insight on polyamory. A huge misconception of polyamory is that it's just for sex. People think that it's just so a guy can say that he has two girlfriends or just so a girl can say she has two boyfriends and people just see that as like a sexual relationship and they just use it for sexual clout. But that's not necessarily the case. It's not just about sex for people who are in polyamory relationships. It's for people who feel like they have so much love to give, they can't just give it all to one person. Or for people who feel like they deserve so much love that one person can't give them everything that they want or need. One person can't fulfill them emotionally. And it's those situations with those kinds of people which polyamory comes into play. It's not because their current partner is making them unhappy. They feel like one person can't emotionally fulfill them and they need somebody else coming to the picture. Men and women are two completely different creatures. They have different mentalities, they're different emotionally. But sometimes for women, they could be with a man and be satisfied in that sense. But maybe that man doesn't understand the woman as much as another woman would understand her. So in that situation, they might bring in another partner into their relationship. Like I said, it's not about sex. It's about forming a community and it's about being fulfilled by more than one person. People don't go into these kind of relationships because they're unhappy or for sexual reasons. The bigger picture is so that way they can receive more love and give off more love to another individual. So that way they are more emotionally fulfilled, they feel like they can become a better partner to both individuals. There is such a stigma around polyamory, people just don't understand it. People see it as cheating, but how is it cheating if both parties are consenting to bringing in a third party? If they're both okay with it, and if they both have the guidelines and ground rules, it's not cheating. Cheating is when you have to hide something or lie about something or someone to somebody else. With polyamory relationships, I absolutely love the idea of it, because it's so open and honest. All three parties are open about how they feel about one another, they're communicating, and there's no lies, there's no secrets. Each person within the polyamorous relationship loves each other differently. And I think that's just so beautiful how, in this case, a double, three people can love each other in three different ways but still come together as one to share a life with one another. I don't know about you guys, but to me, that's just something so incredible and so beautiful. I don't think I could be in a polyamorous relationship. And I say that because I like having my focus on one person. I always feel like I am emotionally fulfilled by one person, and I always feel like I'm getting enough out of one person. I don't feel like I need a different kind of emotional attachment or relationship with somebody else to fulfill my needs and happiness. Being in a relationship with one person is hard enough. I cannot imagine being in a relationship with two different people. But maybe if you have three people, it'll make it easier in a way. I'm not sure because I've never been in a polyamorous relationship. But just from the outside looking in, I think it's such a beautiful thing. And if it works for you, go for it. But for me personally, I feel like that'd be a little bit too much for me to handle. Aside from polyamory, you have another kind of open relationship where it's just a regular open relationship. And polyamory, you basically share another person. If it's a double, you and your significant other bring in a third party and you all share an emotional connection. You live under the same room 
real romantic open relationships that are just normal, you have you and your significant other. You might be dating somebody else, but that person isn't dating your significant other. Basically, it's like separate relationships while you're still in a relationship. It would be like if Isaiah had another boyfriend, but his other boyfriend isn't my boyfriend. And people get confused between that and polyamory because they just don't understand the difference. It took me a while to understand the difference myself. I had to do a lot of research, which real quick, do your research before you judge anybody or before you make any decision on anybody else's life or even on your own life. Do your research and be educated, don't be ignorant. Anyways, back to what I was saying, there is a difference. Sometimes you have people who aren't being emotionally fulfilled by their other significant other, so they wanna go out and date other people to get that fulfillment. But the significant other might not wanna bring in a third party, but they're okay with their significant other dating other people. And polyamory is when you're all consensual and you all wanna be united. But with this kind of open relationship where it's just a regular kind of open relationship, you don't want to bring in a third party, but you still want your significant other to be emotionally fulfilled and happy. So you give them permission and consent to go and date other people. I don't know if that's something that I would be willing to do. I don't consider it cheating if it's consensual, but I just like having my focus on one person and I like one person being focused on me emotionally. But if it works for you, if you feel like that's what you need, then go for it. There's not really too much to say about that because it is very close to polyamory. It's just kind of the opposite. Instead of being united, you both have separate relationships. Last kind of open relationship I wanna talk about is swinging. Swinging is where you have other partners, but it's just for sexual reasons. So a lot of people think that polyamorous relationships is just for sex. No. That's swinging. Swinging it would basically just be if you and your partner have different sexual partners or if you share the same sexual partner, basically threesomes, etc. The reason why people have these kind of relationships is for some people it's a turn on. They really enjoy knowing that their partner is out doing whatever sexual act with somebody else or they enjoy watching their partner engage in sexual activity with somebody else. For some people it's a big turn on. Other times these relationships exist because your partner is bisexual. So basically that would be like Isaiah letting me sleep with a female because I'm bisexual sexual and Isaiah can't give me that kind of sexual satisfaction. The main reason my couples go into swinging roles is literally just for sexual fulfillment. They want to explore different kinds of sex with other people. There's really not much else to it besides sex when it comes to swinging. They're not looking for any emotional attachment. They're not looking for another boyfriend or girlfriend. They're literally just looking for sex with another individual or more than one individual at the same time or separately. The thing that I absolutely love most about all these kinds of open relationships that I talked about and all the other kinds that there is out there, I personally think it can make your relationship a lot stronger. Think about it. There's absolutely no lies. There's more communication than what there usually is. They're open and honest with one another and you get to explore different things with one another. As long as both sides are being completely transparent, I don't see an issue with it. And I just think it's a beautiful thing and I think it can open up a lot of possibilities within your relationship. I truly think that if both parties are being transparent about it, it can build a lot of trust and it can actually make your relationship stronger. But it doesn't necessarily mean that open relationships are for you. If you're considering an open relationship for whatever reason, whether if it's polyamorous, swinging, or just dating other people while in a relationship, there's nothing wrong with it. So don't think you're cheating just by thinking about the idea of such relationships. As long as you're open and honest and communicating with your partner about how you feel, that's the first step into creating an open relationship. It isn't for everybody. So if your partner declines the idea, that doesn't give you a free pass to go and cheat on them because they're not giving you what you want. If you want an open relationship, if you truly believe that that's what you need for yourself to be happy and to be fulfilled, and your partner doesn't like that idea, but you know that that's what you need, then leave that person. Or if they tell you no, but you feel like that you can still live without having an open relationship, then stay with that person. All I'm saying right now is that these kind of relationships isn't for everybody. So just make sure you're open with your partner, you're honest with your partner, and you communicate. That's the biggest thing of open relationships. Like I said, that's why I find it so beautiful is that you create a union and you open new possibilities and experiences within your relationship. Open relationships aren't as rare as people might think it is. It's just the fact that they are so taboo and people judge people that are in open relationships so much and badly that those who are in open relationships are too scared to talk about it. I know so many people, and I mean a lot of people, who are in some kind of open relationship, but they don't talk about it publicly only people that they trust and know won't judge them because they're scared of being judged. Also, it's not really anybody else's business if you're in an open relationship or not. So a lot of people don't go around and just say, Hey, look at me. I'm in an open relationship. I have another boyfriend. Or hey, I'm a swinger. That's a private thing that I think should stay between you and your partner. But that doesn't mean that these kind of things shouldn't be talked about. I feel like if people were more educated on open relationships and why people do what they do, 
there'd be less judgment. The world just needs more understanding. And that's the reason why I wanna make this video and why I make videos like this talking about these topics. It's because people can be educated. Maybe if they're educated, they'll be more understanding. And when people are more understanding, they judge less. Therefore, everybody else is happy. If it's not your relationship, mind your business. And if this is something that you might be interested in, do your research and be open with your partner and talk about it with your partner and go from there. None of these relationships can work without transparency and honesty and communication. With that being said, leave a like on this video if you did enjoy it. Share with your friends if you want to, or if nobody who might be interested in these kind of relationships, then definitely share this video with them. Because for all you know, they might learn a thing or two from this video. Also subscribe if you are new. Just tap the bell to be notified whenever I post. I post at least one video a week. So tap that bell and you won't miss out on a single video. Be sure to follow me on all my social media. The links will be in the description box down below or at the end screen of this video. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for your support. See you guys in the next video.